everyone so in this video i'll be walking guys through on to make the the next uh, part of this group uh, process which is to delete uh, table row so deleting will be the one that where we just we just gonna eliminate a particular row from the part from our table so basically we just gonna make a delete request in the form of yeah uh, api and then and that request will be uh, will be sent to that particular uh, database and that database will be get triggered and will be uh, will be happening what we have been uh, made it to uh, occur so that's the basic idea of us making a delete request to to a particular database so that's, that's what you're going to do right now so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to add uh, button here so all this all this table will be having their own separate delete button at the most right uh, side here so in order to have a delete button so i'll be also be having another column called actions so that's what i'll be creating now so let's go to our uh, table here i'd like to have another uh, column called action I would just say actions because we're gonna need another button here, not just delete. And what I can do inside this particular uh, repeating group of uh, rows, what I'll be doing, I'll be adding another row also, another another column, sorry, another column where it's gonna not it's not gonna be like this, but it's gonna be a button, a repeating but buttons. So I'll be making uh, but button something like this. Okay, so in this button will be having the name, yeah, delete. Okay, so it's gonna hit save and let's see how it looks. And there you go. This is just some simple UI here I just made. So so we don't have to make it any more fancier because it's already this is just enough. So the next thing is that uh, I need to make sure uh, we are actually making whenever when we click on the delete button, so there needs to be a, a delete request is being made. So that's what you're gonna do. So in order to make it like, in order to make uh, like a trigger, only when we click on this delete button, we need to make sure we add on click, uh, on click props. So this particular on click uh, prop, what it does is it receives function, function to make that particular delete request to happen. So what you're gonna do here, we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, just look for what is the way to actually delete uh, Superbase. Rows, for example, let's say uh, supervis, and then I'll say delete, uh, delete row, or just say do supervis delete. So as you can see, we have a couple of uh, yeah uh, results. So as you can see, in order to delete, we need we need to use something like this. For example, we need to have an error, and I mean we need to have data and error followed by uh, from and then delete and equal equals to the, the I mean the name of the ID. Which which uniquely can be identified with and also the identifier value here. So this is what we're gonna do here. So what I will do here first, I like to first I like to make another async function. So I'll just say async function, and this one will be uh, called delete user. It's gonna be a function, of course. So of course I'll be just copying whatever I see here. For example. Uh, but in this case, it does only ha only has arrow. So, but then you need to include uh, data also. So, data will be be the one that uh, can be used here. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, this data and arrow is just to just to see any is there any, if there's any uh, if if, we, if I mean if there's this uh, response uh, really working or not. So that's what we'll be doing here. And let's let's go and actually make. Uh, say just say like this users and of course it's i mean the id should be coming from a particular table a particular row of, of a table so as you can see here this particular we, should, we need to send i mean let's go here we need to send whenever when you click delete here we are sending the the id of this row the id of this row is actually one so we, we are actually sending one to the particular uh, this particular request delete request okay so how are we able to send this particular ID whenever when you click on delete is that we need to make sure we have a on click uh, props which has uh, a function where we can actually make an arrow function 
and then inside the error function we may we call this we call the name of this particular uh, delete user which you have just created delete user okay so inside delete user we also going to pass the user id also which is which is which is going to be a dynamic uh, data so user id like this and of course when I, when we are so currently we are passing user id into this particular delete function so when you go to delete function what it does is here it's it looks for superbase and it looks at the database called users and it does the uh, request is delete and it should equals to id equals to uh, okay now we're gonna make this particular one to become a dynamic variable not just one so in this case i would like to make the parameter called user id because that's what we're actually accepting it from from this particular call function so as you can see we are actually uh, placing user id as a parameter so we also need to receive it as a user id also so i'm going to copy user id and i'll be just replacing this with one okay so this is the basic idea of how to delete and let's just before that let me just do a good practice of how to do uh, this particular and if you are making any requests you need to make sure you are actually test you, you need to test it every single time so in that way we need to that way we be able to speed up things so if uh, if there's an error and then we need to display the error we need to console the error okay so it's always a good practice to do that only if there's an error and i mean i mean it's always it's always a good practice to do but it's just this error will only occur uh, when there's an error an actual error so that's what i that's what i just mentioned so in this case for this the second one i'll be mentioning i mean i'll be replacing with data i mean data like this something like this so this is just a good practice of coding and yeah the next thing is that of course since it's actually a request i need to actually let's say if i deleted a particular row so once once the request has been sent i need to be i need to refresh this particular table and that refreshed uh, updated updated table sh should be will not be having a particular table that has been deleted so we need to refresh the table every single time when we delete when we click on delete button so in order to refresh we need to just we're just going to call this uh, fetch users function every single time every single time when we click uh, when, it, when you hit delete button okay so we're going to place it right here fetch users just gonna, it's going to be an, a separate function and let's just check and let's click save and let's click yeah okay so as you can see we also since we have placed fetch users in the second uh, call i mean uh, second function you also need to place it inside create user also for example yeah you need to place it like this just gonna make just gonna make it like this and that's it and let's click save and make sure everything is saved and let's give a test for this so as you can see here everything it should be working fine yeah? so i'm just going to make another another table here for example uh, we have also another we have, i'm going to just say mohammed okay this is the one and his age of 26 so i'm just going to i'm just going to create a user for a while and there you go you have mohammed uh, a table i mean a row for mohammed has been created let's try to delete uh, any of this for example let's see if i were to delete from uh, yeah let's say jane adams so i'll have to delete this particular row and there you go it actually works because that's that's how it's been been uh, made and let's delete more people for example muhammad and as you can see here there's no uh, muhammad as well and let's and, and let's delete john doe as well and yeah as usual so let's create another uh, person again in this case i like to say uh, ben dover it's gonna be age of 27 so i'll have to create this particular user so as you can see when i created ben dover the id has been made into five so it's just it's just basically id is basically like a unique number like no no matter with the, the, the uh, users that you have deleted it won't be having the, even they won't be having any numbers and any ids in common that's what id is all about so as you can see here i mean i was able to delete a particular row a particular user whenever uh when i click on this particular delete button 
and which is part of this action i think i hope you are able to follow this particular uh, step which is just uh, this few more this few steps that you can vault and thank you guys for watching yeah that's the end of this part of the video let's catch up on the next part of the video where i'll walk you guys through on how to actually edit edit a particular row that's what i'll be doing next so thank you guys for watching till here and let's meet in the next one thanks